know, one question a lot of people are asking is, is there going to be the, I guess, the function uh, so that you can highlight stuff or that you can search stuff on the actual exam? So yeah, that's a great question. And the answer is yes, you can. Um, they're essentially like a searchable PDF um, where you have the highlight tool um, and uh, you have the ability to do uh, put in search keywords. And that's really important for some of those longer documents. You can imagine getting a you know, 20 pages of code or something like that, and you really don't want to start reading all the way through. You just want to search for key uh, phrases and, and then highlight ones that you think are going to be important so when you come back to it, uh, you can you can find that information quickly. Yeah, so um, I'm going to share with you guys a, a screenshot I did. Uh, NCARB has a uh, example of the case studies on YouTube. So if you just search it real quick, I just did it, it took 10 seconds, right? Um, search case study NCARB YouTube, and you'll find a, a video they have. Um, and if you look closely, you can see the interface. Um, so at the top, there's a highlight button. At the bottom, there's a little search box. I'm going to post a screen cap of that um, here so you guys can all see it. And that's going to be very useful. As I said, the, the ones that we're using today are a little bit simplified just to kind of get across the idea. Um, but uh, as you start getting used to how this stuff works, uh, they'll, we'll have uh, more and more complicated versions of this, and you'll be able to uh, use those highlighting buttons, which is incredibly useful. OK, number three, fill in the side yard setback for this site. So this is one of those fill-in uh, situations, a fill-in-the-blank. Uh, remember that all of the question types that you had in ARE 4.0 are still going to be here. So straightforward, general questions will, will be here. Fill-in-the-blank questions. Uh, fill-in-the-blank questions uh, tend to be numbers. Um, so it's a thing where there's an actual answer. Um, uh, but then there will also be some of the new uh, question types, things like uh, uh, um, locate uh, where the uh, flashing goes and you have to put a little sort of X marks the spot uh, and you, you, you talk, you look at a drawing and you sort of locate something on it. Uh, maybe it would be on a site plan. It would say, you know, uh, where's the best place for the photovoltaic panels or something and you'd have to put it in the spot where it's not in the shadow of the building next door or something like that. So there's all the existing question types and then a couple of new ones. Uh, so you definitely will find uh, the fill-in-the-blank type, uh, and that's an example from here. So fill in uh, the side yard setback for this site. So uh, you may remember when we were looking at the uh, zoning code, uh, we said that there was some information about setbacks. Let's see if we can track that down again. Uh, so uh, let's see, when we talk about setbacks, we have front setback information, we have rear setback information, uh, and then way down here, we have side setbacks. No sidebacks are required in B and C districts. Well, that's an easy one. So we have the answer on three would be zero. Fill in the side yard setback. Setback is zero feet.